In this video, we will talk about configuring user authentication for the tenants in the Versa Director. Log into the Versa Director and click on Administration, and then click on Connectors and select Authentication. Here we need to configure the Active Directory server, so click on Add. Select Active Directory given the IP address and given the base DN. I have already created one here, which is called the Lab AD Server given the IP address and this is the base DN. So now click on Organizations and you can see all the tenants that are present on the system. So let's create authentication for this particular tenant, which is CUST4. I'll just click on this tenant and then under Authentication Connector just mention the Active Directory server that you just created. And under the supported user roles, make sure the user role that you wanted to be highlighted is here. And click on OK. Now to see what privileges these roles have. Let's click on the Director User Management and click on User Roles. And click on Organizations. And then let's configure the user as Tenant Security Admin. Here you can see the privileges this particular user can access. So there's also a tenant super admin, and there are the privileges these particular users can access. Now let's log in to the Active Directory server. So here we need to create an organizational unit called Roles and Tenants. Here, let's create a new group, which is called Tenant Security Admin. Then click OK. Then click on Tenants. Now configure the name of the tenant as group. Add group name as CUST4 and click OK. Now the users are under the folder called users. So let's create a new user. For example, give it a name test and give the last name as ACC. And for the user logon, name keep it as test. Then click on next. Given a password to this user. Select the necessary checkbox and click on next, then finish. The user has been created here and double click to open it. Click the member of tab. So here you need to add the groups that we just created. Click on check names and click OK. Now come back to the General tab and check the display name. First click on Accounts and look at the user logon name. The user logon name and display name must be the same, so let's edit display name as test. Then you click on Apply. Click OK. Now open up a new session and let's log in with this user. Log in as test at cust4, then enter the password. Now you can see the particular user as logged in with the tenant, test at cust4. Thank you for watching this video.